Let us suppose that you have a character model like this bot heavy that has multiple components attached to them, such as these turrets with custom spinny guns, and you want to be able to animate them in a convenient way. So obviously we have our root character here. You know, we got all of our basic controls and we can move them like so. But if we want to animate his sentry guns, then we have to come down here. We have to figure out which sentry we want. Okay, we want that one. And then we have to go and expand this. And then we have to go ahead and we have to adjust the rotation like that. That's great. And then we want to get the gun spinning. So now we have to go and we have to go and expand his gun. And then we have to grab the gun and we have to spin it like that. It's doable, but it'd be a lot more convenient if we don't have to ever expand this turrets group and we could just do all of this directly on our bot heavy. What if I were to tell you that you can in a very easy way? Allow me to show you. So our first step is we're going to come over here and we're going to show our one of our sentries in the animation set. Go to root control group. And then we're going to grab the controls we want, which in this case is just going to be these two. We're going to right click and copy. We're going to come to our heavy over here and do the same thing. Show an element viewer animation set group control group. We're going to stick these on his arms. So we're just going to stick them right here for now. And we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing with his mini guns. So let's go ahead and group these. These three are his left arm. These three are his right arm. So let's go ahead and let's group these. So we'll do his left arm first. We'll come over to children, add element, new group, and we're going to name it turret and then we're going to grab these three and we're going to move them into that section for controls then we're going to do the same thing on his right arm we're going to add element add a new group we're going to name turret and then we're just going to grab these and drag it up to the controls and then we're going to pick a nice orange for the group color it's a good color and paste it onto the other one and now if we come over here, we can now expand these, and we now have his right turret. Get it that way, and we got a spinny gun right there. And of course we can grab his collar and move it up like that. And we can even do the same thing with his left, so we can go ahead and we can do something like this to make a really quick pose. And then we'll go ahead and have his turret pull his turret team this way, down, and then we can grab both the spinny guns, and brrr, okay, don't do it that way, and then brrr, and brrr, all without ever needing to expand the turret group, and you can do this with any models, obviously, you don't have to do it just with the turret, it really is that easy.